Well, moving on now, Action Aid Nigeria is urging the end of President Bola Tinubu's austerity policy since May 2024, which have led to daily struggles for families, increased fuel subsidies, and a floated naira, causing hunger and poverty. The group emphasized the need for a uh, launch uh, during the launch that hashtag end austerity in Nigeria and hashtag reclaimed public services to ensure the country's survival. This research basically went to the field to find out how are Nigerians coping with all of these measures, these new things, how are Nigerians coping, how is it affecting them, and we, we've seen that it is really, really bad, worse than we thought about, that we thought. So it's those evidence that are out there and um, what they are doing. And the research also further looked at how is it affecting various sectors, from the education, the health sector, um, the public sector generally, how are those things, those measures, how are they affecting the public sector. And the austerity measures that have been put in place, how is it further in increasing poverty and inequality. And then finally, it's not just talking about our woes, but what do we do to respond and start reversing this? So there are clear suggestions, recommendations from individuals, from households, for women, for children, for um, businesses, small and medium scale businesses. Now, Action Aid Nigeria's research reveals that the removal of fuel subsidies and the floating of the Naira has led to the increased poverty, inequality, and social exclusion in the country, with Deputy Country Director Shuaiba Dankabo describing the situation as alarming. Taking down to the aspect of fuel subsidy removal, as we know, it had multi-dimensional impact, spiral impact on the people. What it means is that many people, especially within the rural communities, can no longer afford to go to school because of transport costs. Many families can no longer provide or afford to pay transportation. A whole lot have resort to transport. Yeah, a whole lot have to abandon their businesses because of this uh, the, the increasing cost. In terms of education, many families have decided who goes to school and who not goes to uh, go to school. Poverty wears the face of a woman, and in every situation, the woman is the one that takes responsibility. Her responsibility as a mother, her responsibility as a, in three points, the productive productive and development uh, role that she plays as a woman so in the, with this kind of policies that are made without a consultation of women without their own input into what really works out for them most of the services that are provided excludes them because it is not gender responsive hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates